how'd you, uh, what did you think of last night? And was it as tense as it looked there in the final few minutes? Uh, yeah, last night was an intense game, but you know, to my surprise, the fan support was amazing. You know, I, we stayed and watched Minnesota and Florida State, and our fans were probably had the most fans there at all four teams, so that was good. It really was. I mean, I, I was, did that surprise you a bit to see how loud it was? It, it did surprise, surprise me. You know, us historically not being a, a basketball school and to have that many fans here in New York, it was pretty cool. What do you think about squaring off against another Patino? Uh, they're great coaches. Um, we look forward to, to matching up with them again. We lost both times to Louisville, so hopefully this can give us a little revenge. Comebacks have been your story in the NIT. What is it about comebacks? I mean, obviously it's, you want to go out and get the lead first, but what is it about this team that's been able to come back? I think we, we show great grit in the second half and getting things done, but we, we have to get off to better starts because, you know, you can always dig a hole and get out of it. So. I was talking to uh, Nick about just the challenges of being on the road, focusing mm -hmm. on the big game and also studying. You're pursuing your <laughs> grad degree. You told me at one point in your basketball career you took as many as 19 hours. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's tough, man, um, you know, but it's, it's what we signed up for. It's what we do. And, you know, it's even tougher trying to get to see the, the Rangers game. I see the Rangers scores, but we won last night, so I'm pretty good. Yeah. You're a big DFW fan. Ah, yeah, big you? fan, yes, man. <laughs> Marcus said that halftime. Before Coach Brown even came in, you guys knew what you guys had to do. What was said before Coach Brown came in amongst the players? You know, keep keep doing what, what we done to get us here. You know, um, play defense, rebound, and take care of the little things. We, in the first half of the last couple of games, we kind of got away from that and started off slow, but we knew once we do those things, we'll be okay. What does it feel like, you know, this is your last one, and it's actually pushed you throughout the postseason, but knowing that it's your last, is it any different kind of emotion? Um, you know, I'm almost play to play hard as like like I always do, but I try not to think about it. You know, think about it, it probably hit me after the game's over, but right now it's just, it's just another game. We gotta do the things we need to do. Has that motivated you though in the postseason? You wanna just keep going? Oh yeah, it has. You know, I wanted to get here to Madison Square Garden and we got here and now we got one more to get the championship. One more thing, obviously a lot of DFW sport fans have a lot of distractions on their TVs these days. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were tuned in last night to the Mavs games and the Rangers. What message do you have for the fans sitting at home that may have missed Tuesday's game? Uh, they missed a great game, but I know if you're supporting the Rangers or the Mavericks, you know, it's, it's all love and it's all good. And um, in the fall when the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, <laughs> off the Rangers winning the World Series, everything will be okay. But they should tune in Thursday, They should, they should tune, they, you definitely have to tune in Thursday. <laughs> nice job. <laughs>